Now, let's add some bends on the places where the pipe changes direction. The first place is at node number 20. So here we are already on the element 20 to 20. So what we need to do is just double click on this bend and we'll come up with by default a long radius bend. If you're happy with that, you can just keep on moving forward. Let's keep long radius bend for node number 20. Next, let's go in and add a no, uh, bend to node number 30. But instead of a long radius bend, let's go in and add a 3D bend. Instead of 3D, if you want a 5D bend, you can just click here and select that one. Instead of that, if you want just a short radius bend, you can also do that there. Next thing is, what if you wanted to add a bend with user defined radius? Even that can be done. Let's have a look at that one. So double click on bend. And as you can see, there is no information on how to enter a user defined bend. But what you need to do is select the radius section and just enter the radius of the bend. Click on enter and then it will make it a thousand radius bend. You can make it 1500 and you can also keep on going or you can enter whatever bend radius you want. If geometrically it's not possible to place a bend with that radius in it, Caesar 2 will let you know. Like let's go in and put in a 2000 bend, it still allows it. 2500. That's where it starts getting really critical. As you can see, as you can see, the bend that is allowed is looking very funny. And the reason for that is that there is no space for that bend to be present at that location. The only reason why that bend is allowed is because it's a user defined bend. So it is user's responsibility to make sure that those bends fit in. Let's go back and say we want 1500. And that is the user defined bend. Now, the other thing is, if say suppose you wanted mitered bends, the only thing that you need to do is, you just need to enter how many cuts of a miter are there. Let's say we need a three cut miter. Now, visibly, there is no difference in here, but when Caesar 2 calculates the stress intensification factor for this miter or for this change in direction, it will use three cut miter stress intensification factor. User can also define a fitting thickness or a flexibility factor, a K factor in here. The other thing to be noted is here where we had placed a long radius bend, you could go in and actually put in a single flange or a double flange bend in here. What this will help is that the flexibility factors of this bend will change. A bend with no flanges will be more flexible than a bend with single flange, which will be in turn more flexible than a bend with double flange. So that's it for bends.